Hello, everyone again. Here we have today another Power BI template right now for Microsoft Entra. Please go to HTTPS 2.ms slash empire GitHub. And you will see all the news. We published today on LinkedIn morning about this new Power BI template. I will come in here. Here you can see that we are creating some folders for the different Power BI templates. And we will download this first, Microsoft Entra. The other thing that you can find right now, and I will release a new video related to, to that point, is here on the root folder. I'm start sharing the queries, the GQL <coughs> usage for all the reports. I will <coughs> later next week, I will release some videos explaining how you can start building your own Power BI template using Empower information. Okay, we have now our Power BI template downloaded. I will open Power BI. Remember, the only thing that we need is your workspace ID. In your workspace ID, you need at least reader permissions, the same account you send or, uh, use it on Power BI. <coughs> and having reader permissions, we can start using the Power BI template. Okay, let's go and we can start seeing how works this uh, template. We will go to file, let me close this one. File, import, Power BI template. You need to select the Empower Microsoft Entra report, and the system will ask for your workspace ID. You need to put your workspace ID, and now the system will start creating all the functions, all the tables, all the relationships. You don't need to do anything uh, additionally, the only thing that you need for this report is previously have running Empire Collector, uh, uh, run the Empire HRD users, Empire HRD roles, Empire HRD domains, and <laughs> the uh, Empire export to CSV logs analytics uh, with uh, support information about uh, the friendly names for licensing. And here, we can see our information about all the users in our organizations, domain registers, user by domain. In this case, I created 50,000 of uh, users, uh, dummy user. What I will do to have a, a, a better a view, I will add a filter on, on this page. I will use uh, an advanced settings and doesn't start with a user. The, this uh, dummy account was created as a user. Now we can see my information more clear. Here we can see all the users with license. This is very important. The MPAR HRD users only collect inf the information about users with license assigned. That's the information sent to Lux Analytics. If you have users without license, that information is not collected. <clears throat> On my uh, tenant, I have three domains uh, registered. Uh, here we can see which one I am using. On this case, uh, Castimos is the principal one. I can see the last connection for all my accounts. I can see that today, seven users from this 29 doesn't have any connection from 2021, at least I am collecting all this information. I can see user by city. I have several users with, without city. This is very important. If we want to use the next report that we will release, we need to start fixing our a Microsoft Entra user attribute. For that reason, we are releasing today this report because this one help us to identify that kind of behavior and start fixing our information. 
that and touch, and I will go back later to that. If you go do a right click over the chart, you can go through drill throat and see the detailed information here. I can see all the users that doesn't have office location or job title, or in this case, no city. Here is the 27 match. Let me come back here. We can see the user by department. We need to fix the attribute. The last update information, when the, the information was updated, I can see the role assigned. Here we can see Global Admin Compliance Administrator. The big role that I have on here is the Compliance Administrator, and it's the same case. I can select and see the detailed information to see who have Compliance Administrator role. Now, license assigned. Here we can see all the license. But inclusive, if you want to start filtering, we can say, OK, I want to see E5. With E5, almost all my license is E5. I can see here Office 365 E5, EMS E5, and E5 compliance. Or let's see my user, Sebastian. I can filter by my alias, and I can see that my account is global administrator, doesn't have a city, is set on the logistic area, is using the domain Castimos, last connection during this year. These are all the licenses that I assign to this user. I can filter by city, by license, by domain. And in all the cases, we can do a right click. Let me see. Let me filter this one. Filter, um, let me clear the, the filter. And I want to see all my user that have Castimos to me. Again, right click, detail information, and I can see all the details for that specific user and information that I need to, to, to fix. This permit, as an example, to, know, to, to see which user have license assigned and are not in use. In this case, I can recover three license, Office 365 E5, because this user doesn't have any connection to this environment. I can see that no one is using this. Okay, this is all for, for today. Please connect. If you like this video, please uh, give, uh, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, because in that case, you can receive all the news related to new videos, new tips, and several other things. Have a lot to follow up, and we can touch, and I will start sharing other videos. Have a good one. Bye-bye.